Welcome on in everyone. Let's do a little clearing of the space. And while we do this, let me make a few disclaimers here that are necessary. If you've not heard this before, all I ask is that you sit through and listen to it one time. If you've already seen it, then you can go on and fast forward into the reading, okay? Number one, I've got to say this for the YouTube moderators. This is for entertainment purposes only. And, you know, if they eventually want to take this down, then, you know, all my censored content goes to BitChute and Odyssey. If you want to know more about that, watch to the very end. I'll have information. Of course, links are down below in the description box. I also want to say, because this is for entertainment purposes only, do your own research, okay? I am not your fact checker, all right? You be your fact checker. Number two, those of you who are wondering my disposition, it's a good question that you need to ask of anybody who's given any kind of commentary. I am awake. I am not woke. I don't believe we're in Kansas anymore. If you think we still are, go, you know, that's good for you. <laughs> I'm not going to stand in your way. Believe what you want, okay? But I do have to say that I will end this reading discuss some things that you might not agree with and we're all adults so you can click away if you are not comfortable with people having a difference of opinion. Also, I will use code speak here, slang, uh, and some of you might think that's silly, but then again, so is censorship, so moving on. Y'all are free to disagree. I'm a freedom-loving Aquarian, so yes, absolutely share your agreement and disagreement in the comments down below. Just understand that if you're going to cite sources from places like CNN, you might get schooled. You might get laughed out of the comment section because, <laughs> as I said before, I'm awake, not woke. And finally, number three, uh, in case you hadn't figured it out, I am not your typical tarot reader. Um, if politics is not your thing, then please know I've got a lot of relationship coaching content here on my channel. I do relationship readings live every full moon, new moon. If you want to be notified of that, make sure that you uh, look at my stuff at the end to get more information. If you do like my political content, please know that I've got a lot more of that on uh, platforms where I won't be censored, or at least for now, I'm free to speak more openly about politics. Information will be at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the very end for that. That being said, let's get into this reading with a cleared space. All right, I thought we'd have a little bit of a fun time and do a quick reading to see if the coast is clear on investing in crypto from May 23rd onward. Those of you who saw the report that I put out um, on May's astrology, which I put over on Odyssey and BitChute, um, talking about money in part two and the world at large in part three. Well, you know, I was advising because of the lunar eclipse in Scorpio that we had last week on the 16th. Probably was not going to be a good time to, you know, uh, take any risks or gambles. Not that, that there's ever a good time for risking your money, right? But definitely not a good time mid May. And as we are seeing with the markets, uh, pretty bad, pretty bad. But again, a lot of people believe that, you know, it's a time like this when you, you buy, you buy low. So later you can sell high and that's where you make the profit. So definitely a lot of clearance sales going on right now, but is the coast clear? And I want to pull some cards, um, not only on crypto, but, um, we will look at the stock market and precious metals and see where that goes up. But let's start with Bitcoin. Um, what do the cards have to say about Bitcoin right now? And I've got the Ten of Swords. Mm, the World in Reverse. Three of Swords in Reverse. Knave of Chalices in Reverse. Two of Pentacles in the Upright. So basically, um, there's some finality here, yet loose ends that need to get tied up. I think that a lot of people have endured some painful losses in the crypto market. Obviously, we heard about Terra Luna last week, which I will go into more detail about when we pull cards for, you know, these other coins. Okay, but honestly, it's been said that what happened with Terra Luna last week affected the entire crypto sphere and so um and, and i've heard actually some pretty nasty stories okay uh and i did hear that bitcoin was being used to leverage and i don't 
completely understand it because I'm not a financial person. I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> uh, okay, but just following the news and what I'm hearing that Bitcoin was used to leverage the resulting of Terra Luna crashing and that affected the entire market. So we did see a lot of losses here. And, you know, this might be also a psychological operation that was going on and they're not done. They're not finished with that. Looking at the Three of Swords, um, I think that there's going to be people communicating about it. There's going to be information coming out about it. And trying to, I'm seeing negotiations, okay? Whatever gets talked about is going to have a lot to do with, I just heard gaining their bearings, whatever that is. <laughs> trying to negotiate some kind of exchange I'm hearing um, and really trying to adapt to changes that are coming in. And I do feel that the changes that are coming in are attached to this unfinished business, perhaps with a psychological operation that's been going on related to the use of Bitcoin to, dare I say, crash particular coins. I do see also with the Two of Pentacles the possibility that the cost will go up, it will increase, and in some way inflation might be involved with this and with the Knave of Chalices in reverse. I'm getting an odd message here that there are some people who, I'm getting a couple messages with this, there are some people who do not have the security within themselves to basically be diamond hands through these changes to hold on to hodl basically okay i am seeing that with these changes coming up there's going to be more fallout of people who are not hearing endurance who are unable to endure the volatility and that is by design is what i'm getting i am also getting a message that um there are some non-player characters okay uh, NPCs, all right? I, I don't know why I'm, I, I wanna say institutional investors. Um, entities is what I'm hearing. Um, these are not like actual, these are not the little people, okay? These are non-persons, um, a corporation, holy crap. I'm in a flow, so. Um, hmm. Those are the people, right? We've not long known that the whales are doing these artificial pump and dumps and they're trying to shake out people who cannot endure the volatility and trying to take over it. And I just, you know, right as I was preparing for this video, I saw a live of Elon Musk talking about the possibility of Ethereum taking over, like merging with Bitcoin, which to me is scary because Bitcoin is digital gold. Ethereum is like the whole banking the the old guard the old establishment the jp morgans the goldman sachs and i it's almost like holy crap they would be defiling bitcoin in my opinion in my humble opinion um just the thought of it right i mean i i just heard more remains to be seen okay so let's see what's the possibility of those two merging and i'm feeling this one as well so again holy crap oh my goodness oh my goodness so there's that Ten of Swords yet again, which is tied back into, you know, the betrayals, the psychological operation that is going on that we spoke of earlier. So this rumor of the two of them merging may in somehow, in some way be related to the market as it currently is right now. The Knave of Wands is usually uh, an indicator of some good money news coming in some kind of financial opportunity and yes it might be to buy low okay buy at these clearance prices it's also i'm seeing an opportunity to do self-banking okay and to yes this is new money as well i'm seeing with blockchain and DeFi and all of that um so i do see things improving but with that page facing towards the emperor, which is definitely, you know, entities who have authority, they have a lot of power, have a lot of influence. They're going to try to step in and seize these opportunities. And I'm hearing FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt, be aware of people saying, see, look how volatile, look how dangerous, don't want to get into that. Actually, we need to regulate to protect you. And I am seeing here with this energy that yeah, there might be some kind of 
auditing going on as well of people who are self-banking, trying to get sovereignty in their finances. Again, I am seeing, it, there's a duality here where I see an opportunity to protect yourself and defend yourself financially. And I've seen it particularly for those who maybe historically have been unbanked or would like to self-bank. Having the ability to get some financial independence. But I'm also seeing a duality with this Aries energy of authorities coming in and seizing up these opportunities for themselves. This is a lot of challenging energy, okay? And I'm also seeing that Perhaps the military or manufacturing is in some way involved in this, where you might see people who we're seeing this a lot with the military, uh, people doing military donations like to Ukraine or whatever. I just heard tracking, tracking, tracking. They're trying to track the exchange of monies, okay? Honestly, based on the card reading, I'm getting I'm getting a yes. Okay, that that rumor of merging a Bitcoin with Ethereum um, is is part of the program that they're trying to move forward. It's um, part of the larger psyop that is going on to take over the uh, crypto sphere. They do not want people getting financial sovereignty. They want you dependent on the central banks. And so they have to hijack the currencies. All right. Um, let's move on to see what the next, the remainder of the month holds for altcoins, which would include Ethereum. It includes things like Litecoin, Solana, Cardano, Polkadot, Uniswap, Polygon, Orchid. What does the next week hold for altcoins? What is, all right, that one wanted to jump. Knight of Wands. Things are going to move pretty, pretty fast, okay? Very fast-moving energy. I'm thinking that there's probably going to be a lot of swift changes coming in. And uh, people making some bold moves, but again, it could be up and down, in and out, quick and dirty. Uh, I am seeing that... Uh, there could be a lot of people using these altcoins to try to make a quick buck, like gambling, right? Taking risks to try to make money fast. Ace of Swords and King of Swords for the altcoins. I do feel like there will be some kind of um, fast forward movement, um, maybe because you know, some people feel that there is a timing issue, okay? In the next couple weeks, I'm also seeing a timing issue going into the autumn months with these altcoins. But with the Knight of Swords in reverse, I'm getting some kind of manipulation, all right? This is a very in and out, trying to manipulate to get the victory, okay? And these are, beware, there might be ethical issues going on, again, where... <sighs> Somebody might see very clearly how to do things, but again, I'm seeing, you know, sometimes King of Wands is a con man. So, it, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of gambling, okay? There's a lot of gambling going on, okay? Um, risky, taking risks, uh, you know, play at your own risk, right? Let's move on to stable coins and let's see what the, wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh, that's, let me, let me try again. That, that was a lot, all right? That was, you know, maybe like one fifth of the deck right there. <laughs> wow. Okay, so the stable coins um, would be like Tether, USD coin, DAI, DAI. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I just started learning about that one. Um, yeah, y'all correct me down in the comments on that one. There's so many. There's so many coins. It's hard to keep up with them all. Okay, this is leaning forward and with the Six of Swords in reverse. I'm getting an energy here of an inability um, to make some changes. So I don't I don't know that, that there will be any changes going on. There's there's oh that's odd. What an irony. Honestly, I'm getting from this 
it's right that card came up with the altcoins as well where quick moving energy all right but at the same time something's not changing here and maybe people are bolting out because i could see like uh, things are just in stasis perhaps or there are issues that are unresolved so i can see people leaving the stable coins between now and the end of may where they're just like yeah this is not this is not going to get fixed or corrected or there's not going to be improvement, but there are going to be, I just heard holding the bag. There are some people who are not able to move on and that might be an issue again of people want to move on, but they can't or they try or they, if they do move on, it's because Something is not changing. Something is in stasis. Something is unresolved. All right, let's get on to these shit coins like Doge, Shiba Inu. You know what I'm talking about. Tell me about those between now and the end of May. Hold that one. What an interesting message. What was a lover's card? I am getting this Gemini season vibe with that. And, you know, also something about the exchange of thoughts and ideas, but I'm also getting, yeah, there could be talks, uh, but sketchy, something sketchy, okay, with the communications and whatnot. And it might come out in print media. I'm also seeing the possibility of communications and print media, people talking more about shit coins between now and the end of the month. But with that 10 of wands in reverse, this is indicating that, you know, something is not living up to its responsibilities. Okay. There's some inability to deliver the goods. Okay. And somebody's wanting to maybe drop it. Okay. Because some of these people who, who own these shit coins, they're, they're not able to fulfill financial responsibilities or expectations, you know, because a lot of times that 10 of wands in reverse is an indicator of some kind of financial neglect. I don't, I don't see it being good. Okay, let's go on to privacy coins like Pirate, Monero. What's going on with uh, the privacy coins between now and the end of this month? Oh, wow. Strength. Lovely. And the Knave of Swords. So I'm seeing something uh, about Leo season, you know, which is right with the, with the shit coins, right? We're already in with the sun in, in Gemini with that lover's card, right? That's Gemini season, which is now into mid June. Okay. And then we're going to come into Leo season about mid July into mid August. And there can also be a lot, a lot of speculation going on, particularly from people in places up high like i'm talking people who've got a lot of money all right um people who have a lot of prestige and with the knave of swords i again see more of this speculative energy i'm getting a lot of confidence as well in the speculations and i could i can see that there this could be some bold moves with making contracts, okay? I do want to warn you, however, I, and some of y'all are going to laugh at me when I say this, but I am seeing in the cards here that the people who are in the upper echelons of society may be interested in doing a bit of cyber stalking, doing a bit of spying, surveilling, investigating, data mining, tracking to try to ascertain who has obtained these coins, who's buying, selling, trading them. There might be something involving bots, crawlers, things of that nature to try. But again, I just feel like intuitively looking at these cards, I see a lot of bold moves made in ascertaining more of these contracts well into mid-August, okay? And I feel that the people who are thinking on these things and taking these 
signing into these contracts. They're actually, they've got a lot of confidence in what they're doing. And I think that it will probably go well for them. Let's hear about CBDCs, Ripple, XRP. Between now and the end of May, and this just dropped in my lap upside down. Yeah, I, I think that there's something, wow, 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 wow. Share it in reverse, the world, six of chalices, five of wands two of swords in reverse and that's at the foundation yikes so not really a fan me personally of ripple xrp because what i'm hearing is that that's where they're going to be building a lot of these cbds central banking digital currencies on that platform and what i'm seeing with the chariot in reverse is something about cancer season which we will be into mid-june through mid-july and not a fan of this in reverse particularly because i'm seeing a lot of aggression and arrogance tied to getting these these cbds moving forward yet at the same time i think that um that there's going to be some kind of disruption to those plans some kind of delay and it involves getting closure of some sort and i don't know with that world card i'm getting something there about global governance okay um, I, I feel like they're going to have some setbacks and it, it has to do with global governance or the, the global governance elites frustrated by the delays and getting really ballsy trying to move this forward. In some way, international travel might be related. I'm also seeing the timeline of winter before they are completing the goal. And with the Six of Chalices, I'm getting something here about it's in it's in its infancy. I know that's an odd message, but I'm getting that intuitively. Like I just heard jump the gun. And you know, that six of chalices, yes, can be about children, but I'm getting a vibe of it's in its infancy and they're trying to jump the gun and they're not gonna be able to really get something complete until perhaps winter time. Side note, I've been hearing rumors that we are going to be in full on recession. Like it, it will be undeniable to even the average Jane and Joe by winter time this year. So yes, I am getting also that this might have to do with tying up some loose ends with the banking system pre COVID. There's some unfinished business about what was going on pre-COVID. And with the Two of Swords in reverse, part of this delay that's frustrating is that there is something maybe unfavorable or unwanted about the options leading up to what I'm, I'm, I'm just hearing. It's untimely. If they try to push it any, any faster than winter, they're not going to get the desired results. And with a five of swords, it could be also, again, not, not getting agreement. They can't get everybody to agree. They can't get signage. I don't know why I heard signage, like signs or signing of contracts until winter. But I'm also seeing a win at any cost type of vibe here and political incorrectness, like it might come across as politically incorrect and i do see look two fives here where there's a lot a lot of conflict of them trying to push this forward any faster i'm also getting a message here that if they were to push it any any faster than this winter there is a conflict it would put them at cross purposes it, it would i'm hearing sabotage their their plans so they have no choice but to hold off because there's a lot of there's a lot of difficulty here. I'm thinking based on these cards, um, we're going to see we're going to see some forward movement with CBDs, Ripple, XRP by winter time. But between now and then, I'm hearing out of control. I'm hearing um, no holds barred. Okay, like. Anything goes. I'm hearing anything goes. I, I don't really entirely know what that's about. All right, let's move on and uh, let's talk. 
about what's going on with stocks and precious metals, okay? But a lot of people are like, the heck is going on with precious metals? And you know, me personally, I'm not really a fan of stocks because I know how much manipulation has been going on in the stock market, but guess what? They're manipulating the silver too and the gold. As JP Morgan is doing that by selling silver stocks, you're sell selling the paper, which isn't backed by real silver, which is devaluing uh, actual physical silver and gold. And so when is that gonna end? You know, really like to know. Let's find out, but let's find out first, you know, mm, mm, mm. I'll take the ones that landed up right. Um, Nine of Wands and Knight of Pentacles. I feel from that a lot of guarded energy and slow and steady movement. Okay, I, I'm i hearing caution, caution. Is between now and the end of the month a good time to invest in stocks? Stocks, please show me. Eight of Swords. In reverse eight of pentacles look at these two eights something is in transition and it's deep it's profound with the eights this is intense and i don't know if it goes back to that lunar eclipse that happened in scorpio last week but wow there's profound change in the works right now and i think some of you would be advised not that i'm a financial advisor right you got to take your own advice right be responsible for your own decisions but it looks like somebody is definitely holding back here with the eight of swords and it's not that they have to it's that they decide you know what i think it's best for me to hold back right now i think this is somebody being very discerning of with the eight of pentacles in reverse i'm not going to invest in this i'm not going to put in on this I'm not going to have, you know, I'm not going to expend any effort into this right now because mentally somebody here has decided not, not a good idea. Why not a good idea? Because probably at this time, based on the cards, this is um, not looking very practical. Some of you are thinking, what is the point? What is the point of this? I think that the stock market might look like, oh, well, you know, and you're going to hear things in the news, like things are happening and everything, but there's some futility to it right now, between now and the end of the month. So I don't, I don't really see, yeah, with the King of Pentacles, I think the advice here, oh, look at that. The advice here is to take the practical approach here, okay? This is about, um, I'm hearing sure-footed, okay? Take the sure-footed move, do what is solid, what is stable, what is prudent, some of you, um, you know, investing in banking, finance, the building, real estate industry. Well, I don't know. Okay, I, I let me let me modify that. I don't want to say the real estate industry, but <clears throat> wow, that's a broad topic there. I don't even want to get into because I'm I'm hearing bad stuff about that. But of course, there's opportunities in every crisis for the discerning person, right? But what I'm getting here is. Uh, Tangible assets is what I'm getting. Tangible assets such as property. I'm also getting things like um, investing. It, like let's say you have a 401k and you can't liquidate it. All right, put it put it in food, put it in agriculture, commodities, put it in um, oil. Oh yes, and I'm also getting with the King of Chalices. Some of you might do well to invest in the healthcare industry, and I hate to say that, okay, because, um, you know, I understand that a lot of people like, you know, in big pharma are profiting off of people's miseries, and I can't really go into more detail than that on here because it would be censored, right? Um, but yes, there's money to be made. Um, if you have to invest, if you need to move stocks around, buy, sell, trade, uh, commodities, food, agra, medicine, medical, um, big pharma. There's money in that. Let's see about precious metals. Starting with gold. What is the advice on investing in gold between now and the end of this? Look at that. That just went sideways. <laughs> uh, two of pen. Oh, wow. Yeah. So 
you know, what I'm getting here is that uh, there's going to be some insecurity here. There's going to be some financial insecurity here because I think things are in limbo. And we know they have been for a while. We know that these precious metal markets have been rigged. When are they no longer going to be rigged? I'm going to pull a card on that, okay? But let me say that, um, you know, this is this is some kind of definitely in reverse. We're talking about financial dis disarray. We're also talking about um, some kind of imbalance and some kind of uh, vacillation going on uh, with this market. Um, some kind of struggle going on within this market. I'm hearing a struggle for power. And in some way, hyperinflation may factor in to what's going on. But I don't think that things are stable, most definitely. Whether we look at this card in the upright or reverse, there is some kind of, you know what I'm getting is like, it's going to look like this on the surface, but behind the scenes, people are trying to like do some juggling act to keep it like that because they don't want the truth of the situation to come out. They don't want a, a correction. Okay. What the real value is. Let's see about silver. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm getting an interesting message off of this that with silver, see, I, there's a lot of fighting. I'm, I, I didn't get any fighting cards with gold, but it's some some shenanigans behind the scene, okay? What you see is not what you get. With silver, on the other hand, I'm seeing a clear win. However, for now, I do not see growth. I think it's a good um, opportunity, but do not expect it to grow. And again, there's some there's some major player, somebody who has partnered in on silver. Yeah, probably J.P. Morgan. Some big player who's come in and right is is selling off paper, devaluing it, right? And for that reason, there's some blocked growth and prosperity. Whoever this is, there's dependency issues. They are depending on this to not grow and to not move forward. This is somebody who is very dependent upon the silver market. They have a lot of, I'm hearing, vested interest. And again, I'm possibly getting a timing issue of the coming weeks. Gemini season, which we are now in, mid-June through mid-July. I'm sorry, mid-May through mid-July. And I'm also getting autumn. There might be some turnaround in autumn where you finally get some kind of victory. You finally get the breakthrough. But for the time being, I don't see this actually growing and taking off until at the soonest autumn. This might have to do with manufacturing, and you know a lot of silver is used in manufacturing tech devices, so there might be something having to do with that and increased demand with manufacturing during that time. Also, military efforts moving that forward, and I'm also seeing it might have to do with negotiations, warfare negotiations around that time where things finally balance out it, again, I'm seeing something about international relations, war, something going on, and I'm getting victory over here. Somebody trying to win a war. I don't know how silver is factoring in, but yeah, I mean, I don't, the, the cards seem to indicate that it's not a bad time to invest in silver, but, you know, and that there will be some payoff in that probably by autumn. However, me personally, I'm done <laughs> uh, let me see yeah I said I want to pull some timing cards and I'm definitely going to do that <laughs> what are we going to see um silver pay off let's see when are we going to see silver investments paying off please show me please show me that really wanted to come up within a year all right what about gold when are we going to see gold pay off when are we going to see gold pay off few weeks in February. 
So what I'm getting off of this is that um, I just heard for some, okay, gold was going to pay off for some in a few weeks. But again, that's because there's something going on behind the scenes, all right? I don't know what the rigging, what this is going on behind there, okay? But I'm telling you, the heavy hitters, the people who are moving large portions of it, I think they're going to be making some money within the next few weeks, okay? Um, I'd say, look, both of these are probably going to be giving profits by February based on these cards, February of next year, silver within a year. So, I mean, honestly, it's like, it's kind of like with the crypto, you gotta, you gotta huddle, you know, is, is I think what the advice is. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Oh, and make sure that if you want to watch my astrology content that is censored, having to do with money, career, the world at large, make sure that you visit my BitChute and Odyssey channels, and I'll put the links below. I'll pin them in the comments. Thanks for watching.